This video details how to connect the DJI RTK mobile base station to the Phantom 4 Pro RTK drone and remote controller. First turn on the drone. Then turn on the remote controller with the GS Pro app running. Currently, GS Pro is only available on the iPad. Turn on the base station by long pressing the power button. Um, there are three buttons. The left one is the linking button. The middle one is the power button and the right one is the mode button. The link button will remain solid red until we connect the station to the drone. Now back in GS Pro, select the source. Here I only have the option for DRTK since I don't have an RTK network available. We can either select link or connect. Uh, connect is the automatic linking based on previous connections link starts the manual linking process here i select link to show the process gs pro will then give you some instructions to follow once the remote starts beeping press the link button on the station and then once the remote controller gives you the successful link beep it will start beeping again now press the link button on the aircraft Once the links are successful, GS Pro will start the data stream. The icon in the top menu for RTK should transition from single to float and finally to fixed. Float is displayed when the differential data is being analyzed. Fixed is displayed when the analysis is complete and the RTK data can be used for flight. This RTK dialog window is where you can enter the reference location and elevation that can be determined by external tools or through geological survey datums. Some important notes, connection to the station is required each time, so you have to press the link or connect button on each power cycle. And as of right now, GS Pro only works on the iPad. And lastly, you are able to exit and close the GS Pro app with the RTK station remaining connected as is to be expected. And that is how you connect the DJI RTK station to a Phantom 4 Pro RTK using the GS Pro app.